Okay, so this is a quick rundown of some paintings in my downstairs living room slash um, studio. Now these are some of my work that I was working on but never showed the finished product. So, and to specify, this is still not finished. Everything in here is a work in progress. And now I just keep these in my living room so I can scan them. I have the same kind of technique upstairs where my main studio is. Um, but since I'm downstairs more than normal, I'm downstairs more. I decided to uh, have another little section. And this is the one with the faces in here. There's 88 faces in here. Um, some you can see obvious, some are not. Again, there's some profiles in there, in there, and quite a few. Um, this is something, and I'm gonna show it so that, kind of what you would normally see. And I went back into stuff, added more detail, kind of tightened up the clouds. Um, and on this one, went into add more detail into this part and actually did the blowhole where it uses for projection. Um, so nobody's seen it further than this. And some of these are some you've seen a long time ago, but they weren't finished, so I added a lot more detail. Um, and here's one back here. I don't know if you can see that. But did a lot more work. Now, I'm just going to pull this one out. When you see the sunset close up, it doesn't look right. But this is what it looks like from a distance. And then it has that a better look. Um, again, this is something that... I just did a few things in this because this one's almost finished. So I went into this little area and added um, a green oxide. It's kind of like a gray kind of green color. And this is the recent one. Went back in there, added more detail. Went into the coral and added way more detail. So I'm going to come back out so you can see what it would look like normal and some of the detail when you get close up. Now, when I'm showing the detail close up, this is when you have your face three inches from the painting. So um, you don't really see it with that kind of deal, detail from uh, that close. And here's another one I was working on recently. Went into the fish more, added more detail to the scales and added more detail to this. This is definitely not finished. Um, I'm thinking of maybe possibly putting another fish going in a looking at you direction. Went into, let me back out. Went into the coral, added way more detail. Um, put more detail into the background blue. And the eel, which I never finished, but you can see the dark area down in here. And I purposely kind of left a little area for a darker area around the eye but you can see the highlights that I have gone over five or six times to heighten and bring them out so now you get more of a form um, a lot of people have seen this one um, this one's getting close to finish went into the clouds added more detail uh, added more detail to this use that green oxide that has a kind of a, a really nice cactus look into this. So I, I need to finish that, and then it's kind of time for looking at little small things um, that I can work on. And this one here is, I, I'm not sure if I showed this one. Um, this is like maybe 70% finished. There's some really good things in here, but um, I mean, there's some pretty good detail in the rock formations, but um, not quite finished with this. 
Uh, here's the Guardians with the two Native Americans here profiles in the front face. Went back into this. I know it wasn't showing that in the film that I just did. Um, of course, this was not finished, so you can see some of the detail I'm starting to add. And again, the, most of these are just 80%. I will go back until it feels comfortable. I don't think anybody has seen, seen this one. Um, the colors are kind of unusual. I used a different range of colors, but I'll get into this so you can see the detail in the rock formations. And like I said, this needs a lot more work, but to give you a better idea. And then this is the latest one that I've been working on. I still have the tape on it. Um, now, this is a struggle all the way until finish. Well, it's not finished, but until I got to this point. And uh, the sea is kind of rough, and there's clouds like, like a storm brewing. I kind of went into this part and made some more detail in the coral. So this is still further back. This is closer to you, and then this is the coral that's right close up. Now you can see a lot more detail, and, and this is kind of one of those things that I could always put more detail. Um, it's just where it's at right now. I'm pulling out colors so it makes it more three-dimensional. Um, some of my underwater pieces will have fish and starfish and sea an enemy and stuff like that. But this is um, different from the last. Now this part, the reflections on this back leg are, for me, as good as it's going to get. Same thing with the right here. This has been altered and changed over and over. I kind of did some more work on the baby, did some highlights, did some. So I took a lot of those bright highlights that I had and redid them, went over, added more detail, lightened, darkened them so that most of the light is on the top. Um, redid the face and the highlights in here and redid the ear. Of course, I have some highlights right there and I'm trying to do the highlights in the front foot. Um, it's a lot better. I feel more comfortable with this one now than what it was when I finished the uh, image for the video showing this process. Um, anyway, so um, a lot more work, but it gives you a better idea of how I work. Like I said, this is bigger than I normally work. Uh, this is twice as big. Um, now I'm going to come up. Oh, oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Didn't know you were back there. <laughs> um, this is kind of my downstairs studio. Um, it's not as well equipped as the upstairs one. Um, and I know I'm showing this, but you, in my head, I already know what's going to happen. It's going to be a night scene in here. It's going to be a monument valley. So the colors are going to be darker. There's going to be a sunset with some intense colors. And you're going to see the Milky Way um, coming through here with the stars. And there's Co Cody. There's Cody and my new puppy, Senna, short for Cinnabon because she curls up in my lap like a, like a Cinnabon. So um, still trying to train her for potty training. So if you look over there, there's a wall. Um, but she stays here. But it doesn't stop her from going in that room. She just stays here because she knows she's not supposed to go in that room. Cody looks at it and said, why well, I used to do that when I was young. Uh, anyway, so this is Steve Wanderers out.